Big 12 starting, do you kind of feel like you're throwing your toddler or infant into the deep end of the swimming pool to see what happens? Yeah, it, it's a little scary. There's no doubt. Um, you know, we had planned to have the exhibition game at Wichita. We had, you know, I thought you were going to have a game at Butler. Uh, you know, those were going to be your road games and, and your, you know, games in the Cayman Islands. So you would have had some experience of being on the road. Uh, obviously, the road is a little different. Um, you know, I'm not sure if they're having fans or how many fans. Uh, you know, I, I don't think it's quite as much a factor. I, I just told another group, I, I watch the NFL, and uh, you see that, to me, the home field advantage is usually the pass rushers and getting to the quarterback and putting pressure and, and and you just don't see it as as much there. So I hope that a little bit of factor. I told our coaches don't even bring it up that we're going on the road. You know, there's, there's you know they don't need to think about it anymore or make that they got enough things to worry about. Um, so it's uh, you know it, it you know I'm, obviously we played it better offensively the other day. Um, you know, you, and some of that you make shots, you look better, you get assists when. But I thought we shared the ball. Uh, you know, we we did a, some video clips that we share with recruits, and it, it looked pretty good. But now, can we get better defensively, uh, you know, in a hurry? Because right right now, we're not very good defensively. And so that'll, you know, that'll, we'll see if if they grow up uh, and, and, and can deal with, uh, you know, playing in the Big 12 very early. Um, with that, a lot of experience and, and then trying to play a road game right away. The game the other day on Friday had to be encouraging because <clears throat> so many of those young guys seemed to step up after what happened the game prior. Um, how did they respond in practice following that? I thought we had a, I thought we had a great practice before you did, Wisconsin Milwaukee. Um, and I, and I, our, you know, we Saturday, we just, um, you know, it was a late game, so we came back, did weights, watch film, uh, did some individual work, and just uh, kind of reviewed some things that we haven't got to practice. I mean, one of the most impressive things to me in the game, and it's taken for granted, just getting the ball in bounds. Mike had to get it in bounds on the side, I think, four straight times. Rudy had to get it in bounds. And those are things I, I'm just being totally honest with you. We had not practiced because we didn't have – time to practice it. So for those guys to do that, um, I, I, you know, we always say you got to make basketball plays. They made basketball plays. So, you know, they, I, I you know, we had, a, we've had a little more time. Uh, they've been very, I think the practices have been good. Yesterday was good. We went hard. It was more us yesterday. Obviously this afternoon, it's going to be more the, the your, your preparation uh, for Iowa state, uh, all the things we need to worry about. Um, you know, before we jump on the plane. You went young uh, on uh, Friday with three freshmen, a sophomore, and, and your senior. Is that something you might repeat? Yeah, you know, Tony, Antonio was out last week. He had, had some, you know, a, a little bit of a illness a situation that he had to deal with, not COVID, but he had something. So he missed a couple of days. So, you know, he, he, he was back yesterday playing pretty well and, and, uh, hopefully we can have him in there, but uh, you know I think that group deserved. They played well, played well together. Uh, they deserve to do it uh, to be back out there, and and hopefully they'll keep making progress. Thanks, Coach. Uh, next question to Kellis Robinette. Yeah, Bruce. I know uh, you know you've been complimentary of Davey on an offense, maybe not so much on defense. Where where is he at right now? I mean, it seemed like he took some nice steps forward in that last one. Well, I think a lot of it is uh, his confidence, and and he's and I've said before he's a great young man. He's got a big, big heart. His his life has not been the easiest, but he, uh, you know, he's he's done well. Uh, that actually, I kind of joke with him. I said, "Have you ever played that many minutes in any game in your career?" And he said, "No." Uh -huh. And so that was the most minutes. Uh, he actually asked out one time and I just said no. And then I called the time out to rest him, um, you know, to give him a little rest because Carlton is just, uh, you know, with limited practice, he's uh, struggling with uh, the defensive part, the ball screens, uh, you know, it, it's going to take him a little bit of time. And Davion was doing well. He's, he's made, 
I wouldn't tell you he's, and I always said McCall was, uh, Mac was one of the better ball screen defenders in the country. I, I would not tell you that about Davion right now, but he he's starting to understand uh, it's hard. It's hard for big guys. I just talked with the TV people and we talked about big, you know, playing big guys and, and or versus small ball. And, you know, big guys really got to be active in ball screens if they're going to play. And, and especially against older good guards uh, like we're going to face this week in, in, uh, in Iowa State and Baylor. What's, what are your thoughts on the Big 12 right now? Does it look hard as ever? Oh, yes. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's scary, uh, you know, especially for a young team. You know, Fitz just said uh, throwing them into the, you know, into the pool or whatever, you know, into the, with the wolves or whatever. So, but, you know, you got to go through it. Well, we went through it with, uh, uh, you know, young group with Barry, Dean, Cam, those guys. Uh, they took their lumps, but all of a sudden they became older. Uh, I, I, King McClure is doing the game and he just, we just did a zoom with him and King goes, you guys were, when I played, you always seemed like you had old guys. And I said, well, Barry Dean and Cam weren't old. They were freshmen at one time. And, uh, you know, so they, it's, it's part of the process. And uh, I wish we had a little more uh, seasoned veterans to go along with it, but right now we don't. So those guys got to, they all want to play. So they're getting a chance. Uh, and they're getting a chance, you know, with conference games very, very early. And uh, with, with Monty, is he likely out one more time here? Yeah, I, I, I would anticipate it. He actually went to the doctor. I have not, this morning, I have not talked to Luke because we just tested uh, and, and Luke has, um, now you got to go, he's got to go, you know, check all the tests and all that stuff. So um, I haven't had a chance to talk to him and see what the, uh, the doctors have come up with and his parents and uh, we'll, we'll see where, where he's at. All right. Thanks Bruce. Uh, next question to Adam Meyer. Coach now heading into conference play so far, Mike McGraw's averaged 14.5 points per game. Just how pleased are you with everything he's done for this team on the court and off the court so far? Well, he, it's, it means a lot to him and uh, you know, he's, he knows, he, he's worked very hard to get to this point. Um, I've talked about before how him and Dejuan came back early, um, even though they couldn't get in the facilities for almost two months. And, uh, you know, they, they, he wants to have a, a really, really successful season uh, for our team and for himself. Um, I, I, what I like the progress over the last couple games is he's much more efficient and, and, uh, I think he – I'm trying to get him to understand he doesn't have to put the whole team on his back. Um, I, I, You know, he had a real, pretty good game against Drake. Uh, I thought he forced a few times. Um, after that, the next couple games, I think he just thought he had to make all the plays. And and I loved on, uh, on, on Friday night to have eight assists and one turnover. And then his efficiency shooting has been much better the last few games. And – uh, you know, so that's the kind of progress, uh, you know, I, I, I think it's important for him. He's still, you know, I know he's a senior, uh, and he, and he's got his, you know, as much experience as anyone we've had, but, you know, freshman year, he didn't really play much. And, you know, it, it this is a to totally new role for him. So he's got to figure some of that out also himself. And, and I, and I'm just pleased what he's done. Uh, let the offense come, take what they give you, you know, and, and, and help lead our team. If he'll do that, uh, he's going to be successful and it's going to give us a chance to be successful. When Mike was a freshman, he redshirted most of it until it got burned late in the season. Yeah. Did you imagine him develop again to his role he is now as a senior? Well, I, I, I always thought, you know, we recruited him. I, I thought he had pretty good bounce. He had a, you know, he could score the basketball. He loved to play great work ethic. Um, you know, very, very driven and, and he's intelligent and it's, you know, it's going to basically done with his business degree. And I think he's got, you know, maybe one class left. So, um, you know, I, I had high hopes for him. Um, it, it was a little bit bumpy along the way, but he stuck with it. 
his family stayed with it um, and and supported him and encouraged him and uh, you know and all along I, I I have really felt bad and I've told him numerous times I feel bad about his freshman year and when they announced he could you know everyone could come back you know next year uh, it it really made me feel good for him and it, he was one of the first people persons I called uh, just because, you know, I've always said, I wish I could give you back that, that year. And when I called him, I said, Hey, this is, you know, it's, you know, you know, obviously you don't want it because of COVID and all the other stuff, but, you know, for him, it's a great opportunity and uh, to, you know, really be, you know, become the player he had hoped and we had hoped and, and have great success. Uh, next question to Jackson Snyder. Yeah, hey, Coach, you, you kind of touched just a second ago there on that extra year um, that's coming up after everything this year. Just how big is that going to be for your team developmentally, having this year and then that, that extra year tacked on? Well, I said it, I think, last week or week before. I, you know, basically, you think about Dejuan and Antonio and Monty and Casey, they're all freshmen right now. And, and you add into the freshman now. So it's, uh, you know, you, you, obviously you could have everybody back uh, for next year's team. Um, uh, you know, I think that's a, a really positive thing. Obviously you got to keep them together. You got to keep them, you got to stay positive with them and help them. And, 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 you know, that, you know, that, that, you know, when we signed this group, obviously we didn't have any idea about COVID. Uh, we thought we were going to have, you know, probably three, four seniors on our team. Uh, we thought these guys could blend in um, and not have the type of role. But now, you know, this this is what has happened, and and deal with it and and make the best of the situation. Life's life's paths are not always perfect, and uh, you know, sometimes you, you said a couple of weeks ago, you, you you don't always get what you want from life, but you get what you need and that's experience. And, and that's what we're getting right now. Thanks coach. Uh, next question to Grant Flanders. Hey coach. Uh, I just feel like we didn't really bring this up after the game unless I missed it. Um, Milwaukee, you know, that being the place where you went to school and everything, how was it playing them for the first time and getting that win? Well, I, I, we have, I have faced them before, I, I've actually at SIU and then also at Illinois to go to the, to the elite, to the elite eight. And then, uh, uh, and then, and now, so it's, it's not something new. I've obviously a lot of, you know, pride that I had an opportunity to go to school uh, there to get a degree that's given me a chance to, you know, have a, 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 a special life and, family and experiences that I, ne I never, never dreamed of as a, as a young child. And uh, so I, I, I really appreciate the school um, and, and the opportunity there. And, um, and I'm just happy we won. So I didn't have to get gruff from all my buddies that we grew up. We all almost, I'd say I, <laughs> I probably have 10 guys I grew up with that all went there. So, um, you know, just, we all appreciate the opportunity. It's always given us a chance to have nice lives. And, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy we got a chance to win. And what is and the I, scouting report on Iowa State this year? Um, you know, they, you know, they're uh, somewhat like us because they have a lot of new players. Um, but, you, you know, but their new players are older. They, you know, transfers and, uh, you know, you do have the, the guy that's, Seems like he's been there forever, Salmon Young. If you remember, as a freshman came in here, had a I think a double double, and they they kicked our butt. Uh, and and he's had some good, you know, really good games. I, I, when they go to him, he's a man inside. Uh, he can score. Uh, you know, it it he didn't have quite the the punch he had against uh, Iowa. Obviously, Iowa has one of the best big guys in the country, if not the best one. Um, but and then you got Bolton, who's you know as a freshman, I think averaged 14 at Penn State or 12 or something, and and he can score the basketball. And then Johnson, the other transfer, Wing can score the basketball. So they they got 
uh, we're going to have to keep them in front of us. We're going to have to do a good job in the post. A uh, big challenge for Davion and Carlton and Surrey. Um, we're going to have to give them help. Um, and then, I, you know, I, I, our offense was much better against Wisconsin Milwaukee. We talked about that 20 assists, 29 field goals, shot 50 some percent, you know, 40, good 40s and three. But we got to get better defensively. And, and I, I wish it, I had a magic wand and, and said we're going to do that, but it's, you know, all the habits, the drills, the concepts, the, uh, the desire, all those things, uh, it's, it's going to take a little time. But I hope each day, game we get a little better. I think our, how we defend a three will be really, really important in that game. Thank you, Coach. Uh, next question to Kellis Robinette. Yeah, Bruce, I want to ask, how, uh, have you guys been in contact with Baylor at all about their situation? I know they've had to postpone some stuff. What, what's that looking like for the, the... Well, the Big 12 called us, uh, I think it was Saturday, and said, uh, called Casey Scott and said that right now they're on pause. The game is still up in the air. Uh, I, I, I told our coaches yesterday after practice, I said, hey, if somebody has a chance, call Alvin Brooks and just check in. Um, our, I know the trainers have talked. Um, I, I still think it's it's they feel like they might have an opportunity to play against us, but it's still up in the air. Obviously, by the continuing the testing uh, that everybody has to go through. Okay. The new rule with the CDC with the contact tracing uh, gives you a little better chance. Uh, and each each county, each each uh, city is a little different. Each state. Uh, but with the seven days and then the eight day negative test, uh, you know, I, I, if they got contact tracing, it probably gives them a little better chance. But I assume you guys will prepare like the game's on until you hear otherwise, right? Yeah, I mean, we're uh, planning, you know, we, we still got our test this morning. So and Iowa State probably had the test today. So, you know, you, every day you, there's, there's a lot of stress in, in this whole thing and, and you can't, it's, it makes it much more difficult to prepare, but we'll come, you know, get back Wednesday morning, you know, because we'll, it's you got to drive to Des Moines and fly back. But um, we'll have off on Wednesday because of the NCAA rules and then hopefully, you know, be ready to prepare Thursday, Friday. You hope you have a better idea by then uh, getting ready. The coaches are doing their prep uh, that they need to do. Uh, so we hopefully be ready to go when we get back together here on Wednesday.